Okay, so I'm recording this video really quickly um, while, I, while I've been thinking about it. Um, I, I have um, been thinking about making some kind of video or talking about some aspects of um, what it's like to have been diagnosed um, with autism at a young age because I see a lot of channels talking about late diagnosis and I get the sense that it's almost like that has taken over like the autism community on YouTube it's all about late diagnosis and it's um, since I was diagnosed when I was nine I is I feel like I wonder almost where where are my people, where have they gone or something. Because obviously lots of children, lots of people have been diagnosed as children. But that's mm, from the part of YouTube or the, the chance that I look at. And it's just, it's basically, um, it's... Um, made for those who have been diagnosed late and oftentimes people who don't even know are, aren't even certain they're autistic and so um, though it's not super easy to put myself out there and I feel like I have lost uh, some in some sense I feel kind of tired and like I've lost passion um, and that I can never get it go I can I I feel like whenever it comes to as much as I feel like I have to say whenever it comes to just making a video it's like it something just dies in me and I feel like I can't do it mm, for that reason I may feel like I I want to get back and maybe mm, maybe there will something will come out of me um so yeah um it is a bit hard because it would require it's it's hard to remember your childhood but for me at least um exactly the way it was without sort of inventing new memories because that's the thing fabricated memories and perhaps projecting things onto my younger self that were, weren't there um, and so that's why it, I feel like it will be challenging to talk about my childhood even though it's also I think it there, there should be some story out there some content for those who have gotten um, from a first hand perspective of what it's like to um, be be a kid who never learned how to mask and who wasn't able to just fit in or like go to normal class because again that's the story I often hear from autistic adults nowadays how they've been like masking for decades and had relatively normal lives and perhaps friends who got them married had jobs and things like that and then found out they were they were autistic so um I don't know if I should use the term high functioning. Um, I I feel like those people must are like this more high functioning people while I, I'm not, or I've been thinking like I'm not as high functioning or, or so. Uh, but I know that's a term that's not really liked by a lot of autistic people, and I guess I understand why. But anyway, so I do feel a bit alien in this community, even though it's supposed supposed to be for people like me. It's like I sometimes I feel like I can't relate more to to the late diagnosed autistic people than I can relate to normal people, because because it's like they seem to base a lot of their like perspective around the fact that they weren't diagnosed earlier um, again something I can't relate to at all and all, but, and at other times I do 
get the sense they say things like, well, this wouldn't be a problem if I only had got, got, gotten diagnosed earlier, and I'm like, well, I, I basically had the same problem, so that can't be true. Things like that too, because people seem to uh, overestimate the advantages or think that life would be would have been so much better. And I just think I wouldn't wish my my sort of life on anyone. So I um, I have some things to say or some thoughts about that kind of uh, message to with this idea that somehow. Your life is just going to be super easy and everyone's going to accept you if you only get diagnosed early enough. Yes, um, yeah, that lots of the problems are the same even though, even if you've known for most of your life, like I have, that I, I have a, a diagnosis, it's it hasn't prevented things like depression and anxiety and dropping out of school and it hasn't made it so that I got like all the appropriate help. I did get it first when I went to special education class but then afterwards they made some decision I think in Sweden to remove uh, certain like special education classes because they had some ridiculous idea about inclusion or something and that I think really and certain decisions made about the school system in Sweden really messed up um, the the sort of um, school experience for a lot of kids who went to school at the same time as I did so anyway I, I did drop out and it wasn't like, it's not like once you get the diagnosis, everyone understands or even you understand yourself because I, when I was a kid, I didn't understand the, like what and what basically any of it meant or I just felt like, well, this isn't me. Um, so I, I get, didn't feel like I could identify with the description of autism that I read. Though as I've gotten older, I've learned to, I've gotten a different understanding or a different perspective on how to interpret the traits. But as a kid, it was just frustrating because I didn't feel like it fit, it fit me. But anyway, this is just a tiny bit about my uh, experience, um, thoughts that I'm throwing out, um, and. Perhaps, I don't know, if I'm not going to go on and make this like some sort of ultimate or some sort of movie about my life, but yeah, it, if there are any specific questions you have about it, then you can leave them, or if you like to hear about or know about something specific. And then maybe I will be, maybe I will be back at some point and talking more about uh, my early diagnosis experience and what it was, what it was like growing up, um, without, you know, learning how to fit in or, yeah, yeah, having different experiences from what a lot of other autistic people have. Um, so, yeah, leave comments and questions, and uh, this is it for now.